Good morning. Um, today um, we're gonna be talking about um, <clears throat> after you sign the deed of sale, what's the next step? Um, it's a lot of uh, <clears throat> paperwork's needed because after you. Uh, First of all, please subscribe and like my video. If you have any comment or uh, question, um, just put it there and I'll answer it. And please subscribe. Um, <clears throat> I just want to share my experience here. So um, if you appreciate it, like it or subscribe. So today I'm going back to uh, the property because um, <clears throat> one mistake that I learned that I didn't do but I should have done is when I bought the property uh, <clears throat> the seller already have a lot plan so I assume you know they have a lot plan they put up a, um, a post for the fence so a post around the property and I assume they followed or the contractor followed the uh, um, the lot plan, but unfortunately, it hurts after my contractor put in the fence. Thank God it's not hollow block. I'm doing the, the the new trend now. It's a bamboo metal combination with a little bit of hollow blocks at the bottom. It looks pretty. I'm gonna post it. Um, <clears throat> they're almost three fourths done, and my neighbor. At the back lot called me and said um, did you do a survey here because your uh, marker for your lot is way behind your fence so you're losing like two meters and calculating it two meters and that's a 12 12 meter wide property on, on the left side you're talking about you know 22 23 uh, square meter loss so um, he suggested to do a, a survey so that's what I did following uh, about two days later actually um, he went did a survey and he was right whoever put in the post around the property didn't follow the lot plan and it was way off two meters one meter here one and a half meter here so they have to take everything down and redo it again so now I'm going back there to order more stuff thank God we can recycle the bamboo the metal you know but I have to buy more hollow blocks and uh, cement and some more steel I have a good contractor very honest kid so <clears throat> He said he'll, he'll be able to finish the whole thing, you know, dig out everything and and follow the, the last one now with a new survey. Anyway, back to our topic. Uh, after you're signing with a deed of sale and notarized, make sure it's notarized, um, your next step is you're going to go to BIR. Um, OV, you're gonna pay for the capital gain or the seller will pay for the capital gain but when we bought the property I agreed to pay for the capital gain as long as he lowered the price and that's what we did and um, everything is stated on on the deed of sale so you go to the BIR like you have to go back three times in one day actually First, you go over there, bring all the requirements. You're gonna need a copy of your certified true copy of uh, the title, uh, tax declaration, tax receipt, your uh, tax identification number, and the seller's tax identification number. Um, <clears throat> and um, the, from the tax declaration, as soon as you go in there, they will compute how much the capital gain is but, but usually it's usually six percent of the selling price or the zonal value of the property 
or the market value whatever is higher that's where they base the capital gain six percent so that's one you have to pay and then the second one is the documentary stamp tax which is um, I paid 1.5 percent of the highest amount of the property again based on the sonal value market value and the selling price whichever is highest higher um, <clears throat> so after they compute that you're gonna go there is a uh, affiliated bank with the uh, Bureau of Internal Revenue here so you go over there because another thing if it's if the capital gain is more than 20,000 you have to go outside the BIR and pay through an affiliated bank but if it's less than 20,000 you can pay it right there but since ours is more than 20,000 I have to go to the bank pay it get a receipt <clears throat> so after they compute that you have to go to um, there's some little offices outside BIR and you have to fill out the form 2000 and uh, um, <clears throat> 1670 form which is a documentary in one kilometer exit right and, yes uh, you did it and the capital gain form so what they do is they fill it up for you and they will give you a printout and it will cost you about 100 bucks 100, 100 pesos and <clears throat> so you bring that form to the bank and then in 400 meters you pay them they give you a receipt exit right and yes you did it to BIR and submit everything with a receipt and then um, if everything is good you got all the requirements um, they will give you a slip to claim your certification exit right yes you did it register your property in 400 meters so that's the second step turn right and it takes about 30 days like mine they in said 200 meters three weeks but turn right you, know, it, you just have to call before you go pick it up um, and that's pretty much it that's the next step and then you just wait then I will make the next in 800 meters for the next step again. Okay? Exit right. So yes, you did it. Forget to subscribe and like in 400 video, meters. Any comment? Exit right. Respect. Yes, you I just did want it. To share my experience. Um, you guys have a good day.